We begin tonight covering Walker County, where thefts on the highway have county leaders calling for change. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Jack Royer. The perpetrators think it's a prank, but in cash strapped Walker County, stealing street signs is an expensive problem. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis joins us live in studio tonight with how, for some, it's becoming a dangerous problem, too. Corey. Yeah, Jack, good afternoon, good evening, rather. A total of 20 street signs have been recovered just this past weekend alone, but it's an issue Walker County has been dealing with for months, and the ones suffering are those who rely on emergency services. Just frustrated at my age. Uh, RPS needs to know what road I live on. 67 year old Edward Lee discovered regional paramedical services had a hard time locating him on Wednesday after he called for help once his home was broken into. 911, what is the exact location of your emergency? But then learned the emergency delay was due to someone vandalizing and stealing street signs where he lives in Walker County, turning his frustration into irritation against those responsible for the theft. They need to respond and find you quickly. It takes our tax money to replace those signs. Lee says his street sign was destroyed and stolen, similar to this one. These are ones we recovered and we can still use. Walker County Commissioner Jeff Burrow says county officials found 20 signs just this past weekend in ditches and vacant homes. These signs are all on brackets. Uh, this would be the bracket that holds it to the pole. This would be an intersection, so another sign would be, you know, in per you know perpendicular to it crossing over. And they're just basically just waggling them back and forth until they break off. He says there's between 10 and 30,000 street signs in the county that cost from 40 to 80 dollars a piece to replace them, and over time it cost the county money. I think it's a lot of uh, teenagers doing a lot of the vandalism and a lot of the stealing. We did some digging and found out that the person or people responsible for the crime can face up to six months in county jail and fines up to three thousand dollars, a punishment this Walker County resident thinks is necessary. I would think that they need to be dealt with. Now, the theft of street signs is considered theft by taking under Alabama law and is punishable by jail time or community service. To report a sign theft to the Walker County Sheriff's Office, all you have to do is call 205 302 6464. In the studio tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey,